us for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. Luke 22. I want you to know this, that no one came to this life by accident. Whether my mother became pregnant by mistake, as we say, as human beings, I am not a mistake. I am a human being. Are you there? I am not what? A mistake. I am a human. Whether my father married 10 women, and then I born from that family. I am not carrying that spirit of polygamous. I am a human being. You came to this life by the will of God. And it is for this reason that whatever you are facing now, if it is the will of God, let it be so. If it is not the will of God, tell Jesus to stop that situation. And he will do that for you. Make no mistake, people of God. What we are facing now, as long as it is not the will of God, Jesus can stop it. Is it sickness, poverty, failure, rejection, persecution? If it is the will of God, let it be so. Jesus Christ. You remember the scripture? In the same book, he cried. He said, Father, if it is your will, he never said the pain is too much. He said, if it is your what? This is why whatever you are going through, whatever situation that you are facing, if it is not the will of God, you can tell Jesus, and Jesus is very close to you. More than anyone, your effort cannot handle this one. So if it is not the will of God, and witches and wizards are persecuting you or afflicting with problems, the mistake that you have made is to live according to your senses. Once you realize that, oh, for this life, I cannot live by all oh, whatever means which is there, it is only Jesus. Jesus will stop that situation. Let me... I, I want you to know that Jesus is the only way. The truth and what? Life. <clears throat> Let's go to the book. Yes, 22. Verse 41. This is Luke 22, verse 41. Are you there? He withdrew about a stone thrown beyond them, kneeled down and prayed. That is where my point is. 42. Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not by my will, but yours be done. This is the confession of someone who is depending on God Almighty. Even if you are not working, you are not married, you are sick, your confession should not be according to what you are going through. You need to develop that confidence. He kneeled down, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet, not by my will, but yours be done. Immediately, this is 43, an angel from heaven appeared to him and he strengthened him. That is the only difference. When you cry as a child of God, when you are persecuted, you are innocent, and you cry to your father, your father in heaven will give you support, or he will strengthen you, or to give you that capacity. You endure that pain, because you know that very soon, this persecution will come to an end. 
No matter how hard it is as human beings, I know that it's very difficult when you are facing a lot of problems to trust God. Yes. But with God inside you, it is possible. He said, if you are willing, take this away from me, but not by my will, but yours be done. We are here with different problems. I did not create myself or brought myself to this life. And whatever problem that I am going through, the one who brought me this, to this life is aware. Oh, Mrenga is being, you know, rejected, persecuted. The issue now is Mrenga. The way Mrenga will represent his case before his master, the one who brought him to this life. If Mlenga start crying all over, hey, 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 the people you are crying for will not help you. Jesus never called Peter, see these people, what they are doing to me. He never said that. John, where are you? Andrew, where is your panga? Eh? John, ah, where are you? Look at these people, look at this one. He never said, he knew the one who brought me to this life. He will give me that strength or capacity to overcome this mountain. He never complained. You disciples, you are useless. I thought you would protect me. You would defend me. Remember what happened when Jesus was arrested. One of his disciples cut the heel of one of the servants. Jesus went ahead and, you know, bring back the heel to the same man. That was the time all the disciples were disorganized inside them to say, what kind of a man is this? These people are dangerous. They mean business. They are going to kill him. We are trying to defend him. He is supporting our enemy. They became discouraged in the flesh because they were more of the flesh than the spirit. Jesus was not in the flesh. He was in the spirit. His understanding and the understanding was not the same. They became disorganized. And fear entered them now to say, ah, this man, he doesn't know the type of people that we live with here on earth. They will kill him. They started learning one by one. One by one. one except Peter, who was, you know, following Jesus at a distance. He can't even get closer to him. He was at a distance. Are you there? When you are facing a reality of this life, don't trust anyone. Trust only God Almighty. Even those who are encouraging you in your presence, you don't know what they are going to say after leaving your place. They will come to the hospital to visit you. You are admitted. Ah, oh, Soli, oh, I wish you a quick recovery. Mm -hmm. Ah, well. I, I, when I heard that you were admitted, you know, I, I felt it bad. I said, no, 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 I have to go there and see how, you know, you know, you are getting on with the treatment. But uh, I wish you a quick recovery. After leaving that was uh, you die. This is the, 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 the same person who was what? Encouraging you to say quick recovery. After leaving that place, without telling this is HIV. And these are the people that you trust so much. And these are the people that you give all your secret. It is only Jesus who is reliable and dependable. Jesus never trusted anyone here on earth. If you are a child of God, there's no one to trust. No matter how good you are, when it is time for persecution, even those who are very close to you, they will start persecuting you. Misunderstanding will lock everything. If it is the will of God for you to be beaten, let them beat you. If it is the will of God for you uh, to die, leave this world. Are you ready? Ah, look at you. You are quiet. You fear death. You don't fear the one who brought you to this life. Hmm? If it is the will of God for you to face any crisis, let it be so. And glory be to God Almighty. Stop complaining. 
If it is not the will of God, Jesus can stop that situation. Jesus can rebuke that situation. Jesus can rebuke that satana. And your life, you know, will come back to what? No more. If it is the will of God, remain in poverty. There's something that you are learning out of that poverty. By the time you are living poverty, you'll be a good person. You understand the pain of what? Po this is why Jesus understands your pain if you don't, you know. Because he went through that process. Even rejection. Are you talking about betrayal? He understands all these things. That anyone can betray you. Even those that you trust so much. You don't know what they are saying behind your back. You are lying. There's nothing like that. You don't know yourself. This is my, bref, my best friend. You cook a chicken. You send your child. Then you are deceiving yourself that you are best friend. Just wait. It is only Jesus who is the same. Yesterday, today, and the, that is Hebrews 13, verse 8. If it is the will of God, face that challenge, face that mountain. That is not the end of your life. When you are facing rejection, be happy that my Father in heaven is aware that I've been what? Rejected. But if you start murmuring to say, why me? Why all this? You too, you are committing what? Sin. Who is going to save you now? No one. Ah, look at this thing. I'm still preaching there. Is it the will of God that you tell them to stand? Eh? <laughs> is it the will of God? Or you are just, you know, seeing me. Uh, is it the will of God? So I'm encouraging you, people of God. Let the will of God be done. No matter what situation you are going through, the will of God is supreme. The will of God is what? Jesus never complain to anyone. No. You need to know why you know you are here on earth as a human being. God created you for a purpose. This is why I was saying, whether my mother became, you know, pregnant by mistake or from a man who is not responsible, I am a human being. Are you there? You are a human being. Don't condemn yourself because of the way you came to this life. You are a human being created in the image of God for his own what? purpose. No, you don't know your father. Oh, you don't know your what? That is their language here on earth. My father in heaven knows me. He's the one who made me to be who I am. We are just caretakers. The creator is God Almighty. The situation is bad. Things, you know, are going sour. Can you pray that father let your will be done? Hmm? What you are going through is for the purpose. It's for what? It doesn't mean that it, it, your, 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 your hand has come. No. That will make you to trust God more. There are people who are in the hospital right now with a lot of money in their accounts. And money cannot redeem them. If care is not taken, that money will be used for what? For their funeral. But with Jesus in your heart, he cannot allow you to go when it is not yet time for you to leave this world. That is the difference. As long as it is not time, Jesus cannot allow you anyone to take you prematurely. No. Hmm? 
Then to Nafikosa. Maritra Muli Pepa. The only the prayer that will come is Mwelesa, why? You like questioning God, why? Why only me? Jesus never said, why only me? Jesus never said John was there, this, this, this. Even John, John was, you know, killed like a criminal. So, understand that you are here by the will of God. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. You are here by the will of God. You came to this life by the will of God. Yes. This is why if you say, I want a baby boy, you give birth to a, a, a baby girl. Are you there? I hope there is no one here who is crying for a baby uh, a baby boy. Oh, I want a baby, a, a baby girl. You give birth to another boy. There you, Mkafishana 15, in search of what? A baby girl. Unomukwe nande for mwa nakashi, mwa ume. Unomukwe no mwa nakashi wa mpundu, batatu. Haba umeweka weka. Because it is not your will. It is only God's will that is supreme over your life. Make no mistake. Yes, you desire to do whatever you want to do. But his own desire is greater than your own. So it's better you marry your own to his what? His own desire. And once you do that, he will be the one out to counsel you. When you are talking to your father, you ask, Dad, I want this. Then your father says, for what? This is, you know, the way we talk with our children. For what? Then your children will give you reason. Okay, no problem. Get it. The folk winner. Is it the will of God? Ngamwa winner mukam yokuma bantu. Ngamwa winner mukam yoku to kaba lume. Pesakra misunga pepra pinach kruta mule burisha eh iakushta mwish. Firafina mushta. But the sanganai shoku tla uyuma yonangu yuta danga kwata. Then it will be a blessing. It's going to be the will of God for you to become rich. Not where you say, I want to fix that one. No. Even those who are watching me, please, what you are going through, face the reality. Stop complaining. Your father in heaven is aware. He's the only one who can stand for you. Even where the situation is very tense, God understands your weakness more than anyone. The more you are complaining, the more you are putting fuel on the fire. Learn back to your father. Is able. Is what? Hmm? Jesus is the only one who is the same yesterday, today, and what? Nangulebe povu fi Jesus will be Jesus. He will never change. You remember this song that the praise I sing. Filafine mwari akale na lerofo mchitelechani. Imwe tani mula chinja. Tani mula chinja imu. Nga mwambo kuikala eh mwambo kuikala kufialo nangu atikuba sungu nga mwaikira nangu ni mundeke pa kwenda eh utu wazeka ba minoku wala ta ba fuala ba mwishi ba tero ba ikila ba fumo kwa uko uko that is not the way of life remember that the will of god is supreme mm. god brought you to this life for his own purpose amen so Jesus is very close to you like this brother here. Your relatives, no one will be very close to you when things are sour. Only Jesus. Even when you are sick in that hospital or maybe in your room, Jesus is there with you. Trust him. If you will let me tell you. Amen. Now, I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. Can you pray such prayer? Unless if the Spirit of God is in you. With this mind, no. Why? Father, why? Why? When you become rich, are you going to say why? Thank you. God bless you.